Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here working through section double B quadratic equations in IXL's Algebra 1 skills. Skill 3 today is complete a function table for quadratic functions. Basically just order of operations here, getting the basics of working with quadratics down. And here's the most basic quadratic function of them all. Um, this says f of j equals j squared. So we're going to do f of negative 1 here first which would be negative one squared. Well, whenever you square something, you always get a positive. So negative one squared time is negative one times negative one, which is one. Um, F of zero, zero squared, which is zero. And F of one squared is one squared, which is one. Sorry about my zero, I get a little crazy. And f of two is two squared, which is two. I think we're gonna use some mental math from here on out to kinda make things go a little faster, but they do get a little bit more complicated, obviously. That's the most basic we can get. All right, so one, zero, one, four. Zero, zero, probably the vertex, right? Yep. All right, um, here's another one. So negative 10 V squared minus six. So we're gonna do F of negative three. And what I'm gonna to do to make this faster is actually do negative 10, but then instead of writing negative three squared, I'm just gonna square it right now. Negative three squared we know is nine. That'll make things a little quicker for us. So negative 90 minus six, which is negative 96. A little bit of mental math there. So f of negative 1 is negative 10 times negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is 1 minus 6. So that's negative 10 minus 6, which is negative 16. f at 1 is negative 10 uh, times 1 squared, which is 1, minus 6. That gives us negative 10 minus 6. Check it out. It's negative 16 again. I'm thinking that when I put 3 into this equation, I'm going to get an output of negative 96. Isn't it obvious? I mean, 3 squared is 9. So if I put 3 in here, this is still going to be 9, and we're still going to get negative 96, aren't we? So that makes our work a little faster, too, when we start noticing things like that. Just got to be careful. It doesn't always uh, go around zero. Uh, but this one does. So f of negative 2 is 6 times negative 2 squared, which is 4, plus 5. So it's 24 plus 5, which is 29. Um, at negative 1... It would be 6 times negative 1 squared, or 6 times 1, because negative 1 squared is 1. And 6 times 1 is 6, plus 5 is 11. F at 0, we know 0 squared is 0, and 0 times 6 is 0, and plus 5 is going to be 5. And so a lot of mental math on that one. Zeros are easy to plug in. So are 1s. Um, 6 times 1 squared is 6, plus the 5, that's 11. Okay, um, well, the numbers got a lot bigger this time, and this W appeared in here, this extra W. Maybe we'll take it a little bit slower here, not huge though. So we're going to do uh, the opposite of 22 squared. Well. Maybe it's not mental math, but 22 squared on my calculator is 484. Um, plus 5 times 22, which is 110. So negative 484 plus 110 is negative 374. All right, what about F at 23? Again, it's going to be the opposite of 23 squared. 23 squared is 529 plus 5 times 23, um, which is 
115. So negative 529 plus 115, that's negative 414. F at 24. Well, it's going to be the opposite of 24 squared, and 24 squared is 576. Plus 5 times 24, um, 5 times 24 is 120. Yep. So when you add those, you get negative 456. It's just a matter of doing order of operations here. It's the same stuff over and over. If you've got a calculator and you can develop some shortcuts, that helps too. So the opposite of 25 squared, which is negative 625, plus 25 times 5, which is 125, that is negative 500. All right. One more, uh, this has got three terms. It's got the uh, z squared, it's got the 5z, and it's got the 8. Okay, again, we're gonna, the numbers are a little smaller. Maybe we can do a lot more mental math here. All right, negative 5 squared, that's 25. 5 times z, which is 5 times negative 5, that's gonna be negative 25 plus the 8. So our result is 8. 5 at negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 plus the 8. So to me, I look at that as 16 and 8 makes 24 minus the 20 is 4. And f at negative 3. That's negative 3 squared, which is 9, times f plus 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15 plus the 8. 9 and 8 makes 17, minus the 15 makes 2. And one more. f at negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, plus the 8. 4 and the 8 makes 12, minus the 10 makes 2. Ah, so it looks like the vertex must be between negative 3 and 2 someplace. All right. So that'll get you going on completing a function table for quadratic functions. Skill number three in IXL section double B. Good luck.